Hi, this is Trent from MediGeek, and today I'm going to give you a brief tour of the Tamograph Site Survey application available on our website. Tamograph is a must-have site survey tool for Wi-Fi designers. Tamograph is a virtual planner as well as a multi-story site survey application. This tool can help you eliminate dead zones, troubleshoot rogue access points, and create professional Wi-Fi coverage reports with ease. You can get it today for under $1,000. Let's start off talking about the virtual designer. Import a JPEG, PNG, BMP, GIF, or a WMF of a building floor plan or an outdoor map from the OpenStreetMap project to get started. After calibrating the map, it's time to design your wireless network. While Tamograph's virtual designer isn't the most robust we have seen, it will definitely help you estimate a Wi-Fi implementation. You can also virtually build the walls of a building according to their material type. Because Wi-Fi can penetrate through drywall easier than an elevator, Tamograph helps you know where you may need another access point. The access point designer can implement generic dual band access points, which you can modify to match your vendor's specifications. The virtual designer is going to help you sketch out your Wi-Fi plan for optimal coverage. The graphs generated by the report builder are great visuals of the data rates and coverage your users can expect from your professional design. Tamograph adds a new dimension to your typical site survey. Tamograph can utilize two Wi-Fi adapters for simultaneous passive and active scanning. The passive scanning allows you to see all of the wireless networks on every channel, while the active scanning stays connected to a network and pings or performs throughput tests to verify the end user requirements have been met. On the right hand side, you can add site survey sessions for a map. These can be useful throughout the life of the wireless LAN. You can combine or compare the results by toggling the checkboxes on and off. You will notice the type of data collected by Tamograph next to each survey. Some surveys will contain active ping or throughput tests, and some of them will contain Wi-SPI spectrum data. In order to see actual throughput tests, you will need to select a session containing an active survey. You can change the visuals to the following options. Signal level. This is the graph of the signal strength of your selected networks. Here we can see where the signal drops below negative 85, which is considered poor. Signal to noise ratio. The noise ratio is a measurement of the amount of failures a wireless card detects. This is converted into a noise reading. The signal to noise ratio typically gives a better visual of wireless environment and the factors that affect its performance. Not all Wi-Fi cards report a noise value, so you may need a compatible card to use the graph correctly please check our compatible wireless adapters list available on our website. Signal to interference ratio. This visual is best used when you have a single wireless network selected. It will allow you to see the level of interference the wireless network may encounter. The interference level includes co-channel and adjacent channel interference from networks placed on the wrong channels. AP coverage areas. This visualization shows the areas covered by the APs. An area is considered covered if the signal is strong enough for the clients to communicate to the AP, and you can make sure and document that you have sufficient coverage for each client. The phi rates. The phi rate shows the actual speed in which the site surveyor's laptop communicated with the AP. TCP, UDP, up and down streams. These measure the actual megabits per second achieved through the wireless network using a free throughput test utility, which you can run on a second computer. Hidden in the left sidebar is a wealth of Wi-Fi data with great visualizations. Tamograph can display all of the extended Wi-Fi networks and their details, or you can view them individually. When looking for rogue access points, you can see their exact coverage in your environment. This will help you pinpoint where the rogue access point is located, as well as its name and encryption details. You can select an extended service set by choosing the bolded network listing, also known as an ESSID, which allows you to visualize the total coverage throughout the entire map. This feature is very important for your reporting and will help you prove that every area is covered. When used in tandem with the Wi-SPI DBX from MediGeek, Tamograph can collect 2.4 and 5 GHz spectrum data while performing a passive site survey. At each pivot point that you create when mapping a site, Tamograph generates a spectrum density image that shows both the 2.4 and 5 GHz. You can get a general sense of the noise levels of the environment at every point in the site survey. We don't recommend performing a spectrum capture while doing an active survey with throughput testing. This will increase the amount of Wi-Fi activity in the 2.4 GHz and it will distort the spectrum survey values. 
You can configure the requirements that your wireless LAN should meet. For those of you designing wireless networks, this is the tool you need the most. Just enter the requirements necessary for the end user, and Tamagraph will do the rest. If you are if you are designing a high performance network in an empty environment, set your channel scanning to 1, 6, and 11 in the 2.4 GHz to improve the time spent on each channel. Change your minimum fire rates to 6 or 12 to move beyond legacy 802.11b support. You can also set your minimum thresholds for the active scanning. These presets can be saved and exported for another Tamagraph user. You can also adjust the values used in the coloring schemes to your preference. You can change the value at which APs are ignored to reduce the amount of clutter in your site survey as well. With all the features in Tamagraph, you can easily generate professional reports of wireless network coverage and proof of wireless speeds drawn on the map. In my opinion, Tamagraph has excellent features for a reasonable price. For example, we haven't seen active scanning in a site survey application at this price point, ever. Also, you can use it with a Wi-Spy DBX to scan the raw RF in the 2.4 and 5 GHz bands, allowing you to troubleshoot interference while doing a site survey. These features are pretty tough to beat, and Site Survey is a worthwhile investment for anyone building wireless networks on a regular basis. Thanks for learning more about Tamagraph Site Survey. For more information, visit metageek.net slash map plan.